subject, next one, which is going to be about body weight. Well, body weight is very delicate and very important. So you have to really try to concentrate and really feel where you're standing, on what part of the foot you're standing, ball of the foot, center of the foot, or the heel, on left leg or right leg, or you're standing between the legs on split position. So it's very important where you are for your next movement. So by explaining of the, uh, by explaining of the body weight, we're going to gradually continue into the movement, and I will explain you what is the movement. So let's try with me and experiment a little bit. So first things, I would like to again to repeat what Karina said. We're going to have to try and place our body in correct posture, straight line to stretch our spine, widen our shoulders, engage shoulder blade, and place shoulders down. And the most important, of course, to keep our spine straight, not to break it and pull our uh, lower stomach in. So, close legs. Now, we'll try to place our body weight on a, on a ball of the foot and try balancing a little bit on your ball of the foot. So, we're very clear now where we are standing, ball of the foot, and now we try to transfer a little bit back on the center of the foot, center of the foot, and on the heel. So, it's big difference, really, for the movement where you are. Try again, heel, center, ball of the foot. Great. Now, let's try transfer left leg over left leg, very clear, and transfer to the right on the right leg and center on a split position. So, it's pretty easy. I guess it's easy. But, when we dance, we very often forget about it. And now, I would like you to ask you, so please stand with me on preparation step on the left leg. And we're going to try to experiment to transfer our body. But before that, we have to first prepare our body for that and bring our body in one piece in great, beautiful posture. Now, we stand and we always start our transferring from center of the foot. And we're going to transfer to the ball of the foot. Transfer to the ball of the foot and come back on the center of the foot ball of the foot and center. Now, I would like to point you out very important things. When we do this transferring, we never transfer only the hips forward or only the head and shoulders forward. So we always have to remember we transferring whole spine from first spine till your back of the head, transferring like one piece from center to the ball of the foot, and center back and forward ball of the foot. Now, if I if we would like to make another step and move our body more forward, more further, we have to move our spine more forward, passing our leg and prepare your leg for the next step, and we end up now on a split position between our legs on the center. So. Right now, I would like to uh, explain you about the body weight, which is the most important when we make steps. We have three major body positions, body weight positions. So first one, it's A position. When we stand on split position, exactly on the center between our legs, A position. Now we move our body, whole spine together, we're moving more further on a ball of, uh, I'm sorry, on the center of the foot. So we stand exactly perfectly on the center of the foot. We're going to call this position B position. And next position, position C, when we transfer in our body on a ball of the foot. So one more time. First position, A position, split position, B position on the center of the foot, and C position on a ball of the foot. Great. Now, I would like to take, take it uh, two step forward and lock step. So we do two, three, cha cha one. And I would like to explain when we make these basic steps, we don't use all three positions our body, in our body uh, on these steps. When we, when we make first two slow steps, two, three. Because of speed of the music, it's pretty quick. 
we're not able to use A position. Well, we're able, but this will be uh, much faster if we're going to transfer our body directly to the B position. So first two slow steps, two, three, we're going to use and uh, transfer our body directly on the front leg, on the B position, on the center position. Now, to make next step, we're moving our body again to the C position and passing leg and we arrive on a B position of center, center foot and we continue move to the C position. Now, the next step is going to be lock step. In a lock step, on the first step, we're going to use A position. So we move our body more forward, we place leg and our body now in a split position. Now, to close our leg behind in a cross position to the lock, we have to move our body more forward on the center of the foot. Now, same time, we transfer in our body weight on the ball of the foot of the back leg for releasing our leg. And now we're moving again to the A position on the split position and transferring body to B position and C position to move our body more forward. So, as you see, because of the speed in the music, we have not equal, not the same body weight trans transferring. So, on two first two steps, we're using B and C position. In the lock step, on the first step, we're using A and B position. And after, we're going to A, B, C position again. So, that's very important. And now, I'm going to continue, but same time when I'm explaining about body transferring, I gradually already continue with explanation of the movement. Why? What is the movement? Movement is transferring your body weight. So when we started to transfer our body weight from A position to B position to, P, uh, to C position, our body already automatically moving. So A. B, C, moving. Now I pass in my leg and I go A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. So as you see, I always start my step with the movement. I never start with my leg by itself. I always have to start, my move my body forward and after I continue with the step. Move my body, continue with the step move body forward and continue with the step. And now, I would like to invite my beautiful partner on the floor, Karina, please. And I would like to show it first example, and we're gonna use from section C, small piece of choreography, our continuous lock steps. And the first time we're gonna dance for you, and we're gonna use just the steps without movement in the body, without uh, body weight transferring. And as you see, I just started my action just with my legs and Karina even not moving. Why? Because my body is uh, standing in one place without transferring. So I would like to continue one more time. And two and three, cha-cha one. Two and three and cha-cha one. So my, why is my partner moving forward? Only because she knows the choreography. But, we'll try again. Yes. So we're gonna try one more time. And now I would like to use same steps and use more movement in the body. So I'm gonna use my body to move my partner. So I will start with body movement, with my body weight transferring, and two and three. Now, continue again. My body first, cha cha one, body two and three, and cha cha one, two, three. Okay, now I would like to use the same example and come back to our beginning of our lock steps and try one more time and show how by using my uh, body weight I will change direction. So, one more time from beginning, beginning, and 
So I use my body weight and two and three, cha cha one, two and three and cha cha one. Now, if I gonna transfer for the next step my body weight too much forward and turn my partner, she automatically become back weighted because my body weight too much on the center of my foot. So I would like to repeat one more time. So what we gonna do? When I make my check, uh, step, I will stop my body weight on a split position between my foot. Now I can lock my step to check my legs, my knees. So now, after when I lead my partner into the hip twist, she's in perfect balance on her foot. Now, to use my body again to bring her forward, to change direction, I have to first to make leg action, and now I transfer my spine back on my leg, same time I bring my partner in, into the next step. Okay, one more time. And we come back to our beginning of lock step. And beginning. And we start and with body weight forward, cha two and three and cha cha one and two and three and cha cha one. I continue to move my body forward. Now I stop on a split position and lead my lady and I finish my position to the check position. And now Leg action into the transferring spine to bring my partner forward. And last part. OK. Now, we've heard about body weight. So we have three major positions, A, B, C positions, and how we're using them, how we're using uh, feelings of uh, transferring body weight on a board.